Hello, what is the question of the week? How extraordinary. The first one is this. How many people did I bribe to subscribe to my YouTube channel? Many thanks to all that did. I have a very long and detailed message to show you, similar to the Queen's speech, but slightly longer. My message is... Ah, thank you, jolly good. So our second question is, what are ions and what are isotopes? Now I know this, before we go any further, an ion is one of these things. We use it to remove creases from clothes, make you look very smart and proper. An isotope is something to do with your eyes, I think, in tubes. Now, before I get confused, I have a little song that's going to help us understand this a bit better. Oh, hang on. Not that I thought. Oh, I see. So actually an ion is when an atom loses electrons and then becomes more positive or gains electrons and becomes more negative. That makes more sense. What about an isotope? Isotopes are different number neutrons. Isotopes are different number neutrons. Isotopes Different number neutron isotope. 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 So an isotope, that makes sense now. They have the same number of protons and electrons, but a different number of neutrons. That's an isotope. Oh, splendid. Electrons. 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 Neutrons. 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 So ions are when we gain the lost electrons. Whereas an isotope means it's got a different number of neutrons. I can remember that. Oh, jolly good. Well, thank you for that song, Strange Individual Singing. Um, what have we got then? So ions have gained or lost electrons. Nothing to do with ironing your clothes at all. And here we've got some examples. An atom becomes an ion when it loses or gains one or more electrons, which means gains electrons becomes more negative, or lose electrons becomes more positive. Whereas an isotope is simply where we have the same number of protons and electrons, but a different number of neutrons. Jolly good show.